Uh, we have uh, as our guest Dr. Michael Green, who is the, the director of the UMass Medical School uh, Cancer Center, uh, and Beth Whitney, who is the walk event manager for the, the medical school and, and 20 years of, of the cancer walk. That's right. Yep. Um, to Dr. Cohen, uh, you know, UMass Medical School, we, I said in the intro, you know, issues that I impact our economy, but, you know, UMass Medical School, the research that goes on, the number of people employed, it's almost like a twofer for the region. Not only is it a major and important employer, but impor incredibly important work and research. And maybe you could share with us a little bit of some of the work that you're doing around cancer research. Yeah, so uh, our cancer, I should say the cancer center is 200 people and I have the privilege of, of directing them. Uh, uh, we, um, the cancer center is involved in research, it's involved in um, prevention of cancer and studying how to prevent cancer. Uh, it's involved in education uh, and in training our next generation of cancer researchers. My own lab is involved in really very fundamental basic cancer research. We try to understand what's the difference between normal cells and cancer cells and then devise strategies by which we can selectively eradicate cancer cells. And, and you know, the medical schools sometimes people think, well, they produce doctors and they do that, but, but the other really important value added is, is this research that goes on and, and trying to understand diseases, treat them, uh, right. and ultimately cure them. And, yeah. and, and funding is needed to do a lot of that work. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we're, um, as, a, as a, um, you know, a top medical school, we're, we're very successful in, in garnering uh, funding, um, funding from um, the government, uh, um, National Institutes of Health in particular. Uh, but uh, it's been um, increasingly difficult to support the research enterprise uh, with funding from federal support because that's diminished in part because the research enterprise has grown so large. So we're really dependent on alternative sources of funding such as philanthropy and this cancer walk is really uh, a great opportunity to bolster uh, the cancer center and all its missions. And, and Beth uh, Whitney, uh, as the uh, walk event manager, the fifth year, I mean, how this started 20 years ago is a very personal story. And I think anybody can relate to this because pe every family out there has been, been touched by cancer. And, and Dottie Manning not only lost a son to cancer, but, but shortly after her, her, her husband. And that uh, they reached out with some friends, the AFL-CIO at the time, to really launch this walk, which 8,000 people raises a lot of money to fund the research. And maybe you could talk a little bit about the, the, the walk and what's coming up and how people can get involved. Sure. The walk has, um, you know, grown and evolved immensely over the course of the past 20 years. And, um, you know, Dottie at the very beginning, uh, it was a... Uh, um, there was a large union involvement in the event and it was held on Labor Day and they were really successful right, right out of the go but it's grown tremendously right. and um, last year the event raised just shy of six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars and this year we hope you know it's our 20th year it's a great year uh, anniversary year and lots of reasons to celebrate we're hoping um, to hit our goal of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars this year and as you mentioned we usually get somewhere between eight and ten thousand people it's always a beautiful day um, and we have, you know, a few different elements to the event. We have a 5K run in the morning, um, which started just about three years ago. Um, and we usually get three or 400 runners, and then the bulk of our folks come for the walk, which kicks off at 10 o'clock. And then there's um, a couple different routes. You can just do a one-mile route right. down into Regatta Park, um, or you can do the whole five-mile, which goes the entire length of Lake Quinsigamon. Right. Um, and we've got, uh, we, we honor the survivors that are in, uh, in, you know, present, um, our oncology team, a lot right. of the doctors and nursing staff are there to help support you know, the patients that are there and you know, show them that they're in this from, you know, with them from the beginning to the end. So you know, having walked it o over the years uh, 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 a number of times, I mean, it really is kind of inspirational to see you know, a lot of the, the groups and families you know, mm -hmm. uh, for loved ones who, who they've lost or for others who've been um, treated successfully and, and cured. Others who just want to help, uh, you know, fund the research and, and get involved. Uh, mm -hmm. And this year, you're adding a, a, a little uh, special uh, piece to this. There's going to be kind of a, 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 a corporate challenge or a Mass, mm -hmm. Massachusetts business challenge that's going to be a part of it. And 
from a chamber point of view, it's great to see a lot of our member companies in, uh, get involved. And I know Niche Hospitality Group had this idea about the Massachusetts Business Challenge. That's right. It's um, it's a great new element to our event this year, and we're hoping it drums up a little bit of competition, friendly competition amongst the local businesses. Um, we have a, a trophy and awards we're going to give out to the the top fundraising team um, from a corporate perspective. So far, we've got about 65 teams signed up, and we hope to keep it growing. We've got everything from banks to manual manufacturing, all sorts of different segments. And so at the end of it, we're going to acknowledge not only who raised the most money, but you know some fun things like the most spirited or you know the smallest group but raised the most. And um, we're really hoping people kind of embrace it and local businesses sh uh, see it as a way to give back to the community in which they are. You know, UMass um, is such a large institution yeah. and cancer touches everybody, as right. you mentioned. So um, it's a great way to get involved. And the event, as you mentioned, eight to 10,000 people. And again, having participated over the years and some of the walks, uh, people from all across, not just Massachusetts, New England and beyond come mm -hmm. uh, to the event. And, and, and Dr. Cohen, you know, this funding from variety sources is so increasingly important on the, on the private side. You know, in, in your career and experience, I mean, have we made progress in, in our understanding and treatment of cancer? Oh, very much so. I mean, we really have a uh, unprecedented understanding of um, what, what makes cancer cells different than normal cells. Um, we, we now treat cancer uh, very much in a way we call precision medicine, where we're taking the patient's cancer, understanding exactly how, what, that, uh, what, what are the abnormalities, and that uh, informs us of the treatment. You know, cancer is not a one disease, it's many, many diseases, and even a particular type of cancer like lung cancer or breast cancer can differ tremendously among different people. And, and so our ability now to um, really uh, understand the particular cancer of an individual patient and devise treatments based on that molecular understanding uh, uh, has really begun to bear fruit, uh, particularly uh, in the area of what we call immunotherapy, mm -hmm. in which we can harness as the patient's own immune system to fight the cancer. Yeah, incredible stuff. And you know what's exciting is that so much of it is happening here in, in Worcester and in central Massachusetts uh, because of the great work that you and your team of 200 are doing. And uh, and, and this walk's a big part of it. Uh, if people want to participate, we're just going to close it out. Uh, September 30th. September 30th. They can always visit our website, which is www.umassmed.edu forward slash cancer walk. And that's where all the information that they need um, to get started. They can certainly start a team, make a donation, anything um, right through that right. website. Well, Dr. Michael Green, thank you. Beth Whitney, thank you for being with us. And right. we know thank you're going to you have a great much. day and a successful event. Thank, thank you very you. much. Appreciate it.